Hello, Matt on the Fridge Gamer back again. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial here on arrows, Tinker's Construct arrows inside of FTB Infinity for Minecraft 1.710. Uh, arrows are what you use with the short bow and the long bow. So we'll be testing actually we'll actually be testing out these arrows with the short bow that we made in a previous tutorial. So check it out. Okay, so as always, we're going to start off with how to build these things. Uh, arrows are pretty crucial. Uh, are pretty crucial for using the bows, obviously. If you're in creative mode, the bow always has ammo, so you don't need to worry about it. Uh, the other thing to note is that the bows will work on vanilla arrows. They are not; they actually carry the same damage as a flint arrow anyway, uh, so they're actually not that bad. However, yet again, you, they won't have any of the perks that the Tinker's Construct arrows will have either, so... Yeah. Anyway, arrows can be constructed to either a tool forge or a regular tool station, just like a lot of things. If we go and look at the arrow itself, we'll see that it only requires a arrowhead, a tool rod of any kind, and a fletching. Fletchings you have multiple choices for. Fletchings can be made out of a lot of different materials, but they're kind of limited at the same time. So either feathers, slime crystals, slimy leaves that you can find on the Tinker's Construct floating islands, or just regular tree leaves. Arrows have four primary stats and one secondary stat that depends on playstyle. It's broken down to ammo, attack, weight, accuracy, and then your break chance. Your break chance is when you're firing and if you miss the target, the chance of the arrow breaking being unrecoverable. you also notice that I create arrows in stacks. This design here makes 33 arrows, which is actually a pretty decent size. If I switch that over to a cactus head, you'll see it goes up to 38 arrows. That is actually based on its durability. As opposed to creating singular arrows, I actually can create a whole stack and using only a single piece of whatever the arrow head is made out of, I am actually able to repair the whole stack back to full. Pretty handy. Now, as I was saying with regards to the stats, the stats all affect things variably. Ammo, well, duh, that's how many times you can shoot with it. Attack. This attack stat is actually multiplied by the arrow speed of the bow that you are using to get your final damage. So the higher that is, the more damage you do. Multiply it by your arrow speed, and that's your end damage when it hits the target. The weight. The weight greatly affects how far the arrow can fly. Now, if you start making your arrows out of really heavy things, like you know, the cactus here, it has a weight of 1.76. Let's switch that over to a solid stone arrowhead, 3.05. So it's going to fly not nearly as far. Accuracy. Accuracy is almost exclusively determined by your fletching. And the fletching I'm using is leaf fletchings, which have 71% accuracy. Not completely exclusive to the fletching, but close. If I switch over to like a slime, you'll notice that these all have different accuracy ratings. So let's let's use the slime fletching here. You notice my weight is still quite high. I switch back over to this. There we go. But these do have less of a weight than the leaf ones. The leaf ones are the poorest ones, but they had a lot of durability. Like, a lot of durability. This drops the stack size all the way down to 12. But my accuracy is a whopping 100%. Wherever my cursor is, the arrow will always fly in the same path. Pretty awesome, but only 12 arrows, yet again. And that weight. The slime leaf fletching doesn't add as much weight. Gives me a decent amount of arrows in the stack. And a decent amount of accuracy. So, those are the ones I usually like using. In terms of our arrowhead, I have a nice little selection here. Uh, Manelian arrowheads yield the highest damage outside of mod, outside of modded metals. If you're playing with FPV Infinity like we are, uh, sh the shiny arrowhead made with platinum or shiny metal, depends on what the mod is calling it, will have your highest attack set at a whopping 2.5 for an arrow that is really quite high and you'll notice that it has 147 uses out of it which is yet again ridiculously high so up here it goes all the way up to 263 arrows so if you have a really fast firing bow it's going to be something you want to consider we're just going to construct some simple arrows though we're going to do some bronze arrows why not bronze arrows we're going to use a bone shaft probably a bone shaft anyway uh, that durability is really, really low on those. You know what? They might use the slimely fletching on it. It's kind of a funky looking bow, or kind of a funky looking arrow. 
Kind of like it. Not eight percent accuracy. Really, really heavy though. Let's try swapping that out for a cactus rod. Well, that's interesting. I guess you can't make it out of a cactus rod. That's because arrows need some kind of stability. You can't actually use the cactus rod or the slime rods to make the arrow. There we go. These are really, really heavy because of the head that I'm using. So, but we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. So here we go. We got 77 bronze arrows using this recipe. Now, these arrows can be modified just like Tinker's construct, uh, just like Tinker's construct weapons. There's some that it can't have, uh, such as its base durability is nowhere near enough to be able to put the aura, uh, the flux capacitor on it. But you can put auto repair with moss balls. We'll cover that in a second. Actually, we're going to make two different arrows here. We're going to make one using the standard recipe too. You notice the weight is a lot lower on it. This will be a good test run to see what kind of things we can do with these arrows. At 25 blocks. So, send ourselves. We're going to use our very, very heavy bronze arrows. We're going to get right in the center of that thing. Right in the center and let it fly. So a, about a block a drop, actually a little bit more. Oops. There we go. Now we're use, switching over to the cactus arrows. And right in the center again. Ever so slightly higher. Maybe about a quarter of a block in difference. You notice the weight difference? It's about 25% increase. Plus or minus. As the Tinker's Construct errors, you can pick them up after they've hit a target. If they hit a NPC or something that it's dealt damage to, the arrow will automatically break every single time. We're going to combat with these things in a second, though, because there's some interesting things about arrows that not a lot of people realize. All right, now let's get to modifying these bronze arrows. So, we have some basic choices. There's a lot of choices, actually, for what you can put on it. You can give it beheading if you want. You can add extra modifiers. By default, an arrow will only have two modifiers available. So you might want to consider a nether star or a block of gold and a diamond for it to add those modifiers onto it. As for things that are useful on it, I have compiled most of what you might want down here. The only exception to that is lapis. You cannot give your arrows luck. So, eh, whatever. We can make it work other ways. Our arrow's attack currently is one heart. And with our bow, since it has an, an arrow speed of 5.52, its attack is 5.5 hearts. Well, let's put some quartz on it. Now you see, if I take this thing here out, its animation, is, or its picture has changed slightly. Now what has our damage gone up to? A whopping 8 hearts from 5.5. That's a huge difference. Let's finish up the stack. Be right back. Now, something to note about these is that you'll notice the quartz maxes out at 48 on arrows instead of the normal 72. Now that's because the arrow, if you could put 72 quartz on it, would be very, very overpowered. Right now, it'll be at a whopping 2.5 hearts of damage with, a full st with 48 quartz on it. Which makes this short bow that we made deal 13.5 hearts of damage. That is huge, considering it's made out of bronze and slime. Now, of course, if we made this thing out of some more powerful materials, it would deal a lot more damage. We're going to add an extra modifier to it because I already know what else I'm adding to it. A ball of moss will allow the arrow's stack to automatically regenerate. You see I'm at 77 arrows right now? Also, the note real quick is if you have a bow equipped, it'll highlight the back of whichever ammo it's currently using if it's in your hotbar. Your hotbar will always be prioritized first, and then it'll be left to right in your inventory if you have more than one stack. Now, if I fire off this arrow, you notice the stack dropped to 76. Now, given enough time, my stack will actually go all the way back up to 77. On its own, without needing to pick up that arrow. The other handy modifier you might want to put in your arrows is knockback with pistons. You notice this doesn't actually 
add anything to the weight or change any of these stats, it only adds modifiers. So right now we have a whopping set of knockback on this thing. We should test these things out. Duh. Something fun to note here is if you were a fan of Tinker's Constructs arrows being able to be used as melee weapons, from the previous packs, they can no longer be used as melee weapons. They do the same damage as unarmed. I was mistaken actually about that. You can see it still only did half hearted damage. However, that's compensated by the bow dealing a ton of damage. Oh yeah, these arrows are heavy, forgot about that. So this bow with these arrows has turned into something pretty rocking. Alright, so that about does it for us. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again probably next with the longbow. Longbow is very similar to a short bow, but you'll see there are some unique differences. For the most part, a lot of it is damage, some of it is melee, some of it is combat. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, this is Matt cutting out for now. Make sure you subscribe if you hit the like button, and all that jazz. Deuces.